In today's video, we will look at where to stay in Tenerife and the 12 best areas to stay in Tenerife, Spain for tourists. Before we go straight into the video, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Tenerife has two distinct parts, North Tenerife and South Tenerife. The South is hotter and drier as a rule, but the differences are not enormous. If you are looking for a beach holiday, lively nightlife, and close to the main international airport, you should book somewhere on the southern coast. No matter which month of the year, winter or summer, South Tenerife is the best area to stay in Tenerife if you are a first time traveler, you want an amazing beach vacation and tourist star resort. North Tenerife is a better choice if you are a hiker, you want greener landscapes, less touristy and a more local Spanish feel. The first area to look at when it comes to where to stay in Tenerife is Costa de Adeje. Costa de Adeje is the best area to stay in Tenerife for first time travellers because it is one of the most popular tourist resorts in South Tenerife that offers beautiful sandy beaches, world class entertainment, luxurious hotels and vibrant nightlife. This upmarket resort is conveniently located only a short drive by car from South Tenerife Airport, Playa Las Americas and Teide National Park. The beaches in Costa de Adeje are among the best beaches on the Canary Islands. The beaches are well serviced with calm waves. Playa del Duque and Playa Fanave are two of Tenerife's most popular beaches. Playa del Duque is a blue flag beach with a golden sand beach and turquoise water. It is surrounded by various shopping centres and five star hotels. Much of the daytime activity in the town takes place along its pleasant seafront promenade. It is packed with fashion boutiques, good quality cafes and restaurants that serve both Canarian and international cuisine. You can also find the tranquil cove of Playa Paraíso a large stretch of sand of Playa Fanave, the popular diving beach of Playa Blanca, and a man-made code with black volcanic sand of Playa del Bobo. The beaches offer plenty of water activities. You can take boat tours to see dolphins and whales and enjoy water sports such as windsurfing, surfing, scuba diving and snorkeling. Costa del Adeje is an ideal resort for families because it is home to Tenerife's two best water parks. Siam Park is one of the most reputable Thailand-themed water parks in Europe, with over 10 rides and lots of attractions, while Aqualand is smaller, but it has incredible dolphin shows and themed pools. Costa de Adeje has a lively nightlife. There are many English, Scottish and Irish bars and nightclubs around the San Eugenio area while exclusive restaurants and top quality bars can be found around Playa del Duque area. Costa de Adeje has a wide range of accommodation options and it also has Tenerife's most five-star hotels and resorts. The town is ideal for families, couples, luxury travellers, beach lovers and party goers. The second area in the list of the best areas to stay in Tenerife is Playa de las Americas. Playa de las Americas is located in the south of Tenerife, between Costa de Adeje and Los Cristianos. It is the party capital of Tenerife, where you find the most active nightlife and clubbing scene in Tenerife. Playa las Americas attracts lots of young and young at heart who come to enjoy the sun and nightlife. This resort town was developed in the 1960s and has established itself as the largest in Tenerife. It is very much a package holiday resort, offering plenty of places to eat, drink and enjoy yourself. Most of the nightlife is centred along the Las Veronicas Strip. The strip is filled with 18 to 30 bars and clubs, cabaret bars, live music venues, shops and restaurants that stay open until morning hours. Playa Las Americas is home to six beaches, including both natural and man-made with dark volcanic sandy beaches. You can enjoy a wide range of water sports like paragliding, water rafting and boat excursions. 
Playa Troya, Playa Onda, and Playa El Camisón are some of the beaches in the areas where you can find beach facilities like showers, sunbeds and umbrellas. There's a lovely park at the centre of Playa Las Americas, Central Park of Arona. It is a public park that covers an area of 4.2 hectares. You can find attractive gardens and avenues flanked by macadamia, palm trees, tamarind and the famous dragon trees of the Canaries. Families with kids will have a fun day out at the Tenerife Zoo Monkey Park, only about a 10-minute drive from Playa Las Americas by rental cars or taxis. The Aqua Park and Siam Water Park are also nearby. If you love shopping, head to Oasis Shopping Centre on the famous Golden Mile. There's a wide range of cosmetics, jewellery, electronics and fashion shops, along with restaurants, cocktail bars and live shows. The third area in the list of the best places to stay in Tenerife is Los Cristianos. Located next to Playa Las Americas, Los Cristianos is much quieter and it is very popular with families with young children, older couples and singles who want a laid-back area. This resort is also conveniently located just 15 kilometers from the Reina Sofia airport and easily accessible from its ferry port. Los Cristianos was once a quiet fishing village, but has developed into a thriving international tourist resort. The harbour still has fishing boats. There are many duty-free goods and gifts around the old town, the port and along the seafront. Los Cristianos has many golden sand beaches, plenty of restaurants and cafes that cater to all nationalities. The Playa Los Cristianos, El Camisón and Playa Las Vistas are popular spots with lots of water sports and children's playgrounds. If you head to the northeast from Los Cristianos, you can find Mount Guafa, a former volcano. The mountain of Guafa is rising over 400 metres above sea level. Mount Guatha is a great place to hike and from its summit you can enjoy amazing views over the town. Other places of interest are the family-friendly zoological and botanical parks, Jungle Park, where kids can watch sea lions and enjoy the animal shows. Tenerife's Monkey Park is also easily reachable by car. With plenty of places to eat and drink, this resort caters to travellers who prefer somewhere a little quieter than Playa Las Americas. There are many bars, cafes and restaurants in the pedestrianised streets of the town centre and along its long promenade. Paseo Las Vistas and Avenida La Habana, which connect the town with Las Americas. The Sunday street market is a major attraction. Likewise, the ferry connecting Los Cristianos with Santa Cruz and other Canary Islands is another good reason to pick Los Cristianos as a base. The fourth area in the list of where to stay in Tenerife is Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Santa Cruz, in the northeast of Tenerife, is the island's capital, and by definition, effectively the capital of the Canary Islands, the major city on the entire Tenerife. It has been the capital of the island since 1833. Santa Cruz has historic districts, extensive shopping facilities and cultural entertainment. In the town centre, you can find Plaza de España, the biggest public square of the Canary Islands, which was built in 1929 on the historic San Cristobal Castle. The square has the Monumento a los Caídos and the large attractive artificial lake. You can find the most iconic building of Tenerife, the Auditorio de Tenerife, Adan Martin, near the port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife. There is also a water park near the port called Parque Maritimo César Manrique. The Parque Maritimo was designed by César Manrique, including three seawater pools, restaurants and some bathing areas. Santa Cruz is also home to a magnificent botanical garden, Palmetum of Tenerife, containing one of the biggest collections of palm trees in the world. Another pleasant place to relax is the Parque del Cria Sanabria, with gardens and fountains nearby. 
There are numerous cultural and historical attractions in Santa Cruz, including the 18th century Museum of Nature and Archaeology, Tenerife Art Museum, and the Cathedral of Santa Cruz. You can find the trendiest bars and restaurants in the Noria district. Market of Our Lady of Africa is a famous shopping area with market stalls, shops and eating places. Santa Cruz hosts the annual Carnival of Santa Cruz in February, the second largest after Brazil's Rio Carnival. The main beach of Santa Cruz is Las Teresitas. Playa de las Teresitas is an unspoiled beach surrounded by palm trees. Its natural harbour remains busy and helped create wealth for the city. The fifth area in the list of the best areas to stay in Tenerife is Costa del Silencio. If you are looking for a resort a little away from the crowds, the answer may be Costa del Silencio, at the southern tip of Tenerife. The silent coast has a few beaches, such as Playa Amarilla and Playa La Ballena. It is found in South Tenerife and is only 10 miles distant by road from Playa Las Américas, but with an altogether different feel. It is a residential area with plenty of holiday apartments and a few hotels. The airport is just two miles away and as it is on a flight path, there is some noise, but flights are largely concentrated into Tuesdays and Fridays. Within a short walking distance from the silent coast, you can find Las Galletas a small fishing village. Its seafront pedestrian promenade has some excellent restaurants, bars and cafes, while Playa Las Galletas is a black volcanic shingle beach. You will also find the best golf courses in Tenerife. 18 hole championship courses nearby are the Golf del Sur and Amarilla Golf. There are good bus services to go to the centres of Las Americas, Los Cristianos, as well as golf courses nearby. The sixth area in the list of the best places to stay in Tenerife is El Medano. Located a 10 minutes drive from South Tenerife's airport, the bohemian surfing village of El Medano built up a reputation as a great place for windsurfers because of its winds. In recent years, high-rise developments seem to have reduced the effects of those winds. El Medano is home to some of the natural sand beaches, Playa El Melano is a beautiful golden sandy beach made shallow water, making it safe for families. Playa La Tejita has strong winds and nudism is allowed on the beach. If you are all about windsurfing and kite surfing, head to Playa El Cabezo. Playa El Cabezo hosted the World Professional Windsurfing Championships. The beaches are family friendly with sunbeds, parasols and the beach promenade is lined with restaurants that serve fresh fish, seafood and Spanish food. You can find more restaurants around Plaza de Principe de Asturias and cobblestone back streets. El Medano offers a relaxing holiday without the crowds of modern resorts. Plenty of restaurants and bars are still available with tapas and fresh seafood, particularly favourites. The nightlife here is relaxed and casual. There is a significant permanent expat population enjoying Tenerife's lovely climate. There are plenty of choices of budget accommodation options from apartment rentals to great value villas, but there are no luxury five-star hotels in El Milano. The seventh area in the list of the best areas to stay in Tenerife is Callao Salvaje. Callao Salvaje is a small, quiet, hilly resort in the south of Tenerife, directly beside Playa Paraíso, not too distant from Playa Las Américas, but far enough away to provide time to simply relax. It is an ideal place for those who want a quiet and relaxing holiday, but still very close to the big resorts like the lively Costa de Adeje. There is still plenty of choice of restaurants and bars with supermarkets for that self-catering. Villas and apartment accommodation are plentiful in Callao Salvaje. Small beaches and coves offer alternatives to the crowded beaches of Playa Las Américas. Playa de Jao is a good local beach with black sand and pebbles with a nearby restaurant for refreshments. 
A short walk away, there are even quieter alternatives. The eighth area in the list of where to stay in Tenerife is Puerto de Santiago. The lesser-known area of Puerto de Santiago is a small, quiet and relaxed beach resort on the west coast of the island, in between Los Gigantes and Playa La Arena. It is a small resort that will suit couples and families who want to avoid tourist crowds. Located close to Los Gigantes, the 20-minute walk along the cliffs of Los Gigantes to this large resort is popular with those wanting an active holiday. The very small beach, Playa de Santiago, has black sand and some basic facilities. The larger blue flag beach, Playa La Arena, nearby is also black sand and is widely recognised for its water quality and the cleanliness of the beach. There is a beautiful natural swimming pool in Puerto Santiago. Perfect for swimming, but keep your children safe during your visit because there could be strong waves crashing against the rock. This charming town started life as a fishing village and has developed into an up-and-coming tourist town. You can visit Museo del Pescador, Museum of Fishermen, to learn more about its history. Puerto de Santiago is perfect for families and couples looking for a tranquil holiday. The resort is quite relaxing and relatively peaceful. There are plenty of cafes, bars and restaurants and small supermarkets and shops selling souvenirs. The ninth area in the list of the best areas to stay in Tenerife is Los Gigantes. Los Gigantes is a charming seaside town on the southwest coast of Tenerife, close to Puerto de Santiago. Los Gigantes is famous for its location next to the Los Gigantes cliffs. This former fisherman's village offers a more authentic Spanish feel than many other holiday destinations in Tenerife. Los Gigantes' main beach, Los Guillos Beach, is a small, natural, volcanic black sand beach that offers the views of a Los Gigantes cliffs. Los Gigantes cliffs are at the foot of the Teno Massif Mountains and look down on Los Guillos Beach. To have the best view of the cliffs, you can also check the viewpoint of Mirador Archipenco on the main road to Tamaimo, as well as Punta de Teno in the heart of the Teno Rural Park. You can hike to Masca through a ravine with lush green vegetation all the way to the coast and take a boat to head back to Los Gigantes. Masca was a picturesque mountain hamlet only accessible on foot or by donkey until the 1960s. The town has a nice harbour area with many nice local cafes and restaurants. It is very popular with the British, with bars and restaurants catering for their needs around the marina, the Avenida Maritima and the Plaza. The nightlife in the resort is otherwise limited. The tenth area in the list of the best areas to stay in Tenerife is Icod de los Vinos. Ico de los Vinos is located in the northwest of Tenerife within the province of Santa Cruz, 30 miles west of the capital. It is located on the slopes of Mount Teide, in a fertile valley at almost 800 feet above sea level. With vineyards, orchards and banana plantations, there is more to Ico de los Vinos than tourism. Therein lies one of the major appeals of the town, Several historic landmarks, man-made and natural, are found here. The historic town has traditional architecture. The main square of the town is the 16th century Plaza de Andrés de Lorenzo Cáceres, a social and civic meeting place for all locals. The most symbolic landmark in Icod de los Vinos is the El Drago Milenario, which is the ancient dragon tree which is said to be over 1,000 years old and is found close to the church of San Marcos. Ico de los Vinos is home to a number of interesting museums. You can learn all about the history of the Guanches at the Ethnographic Museum, Museo Guanche. 
The Guanches were the first residents of the Canary Islands, dating back to about two millennia ago. Meanwhile, Museo de Malvasia is the family winery that is surrounded by flower plants and trees. Artlandia has a collection of 400 private dolls from all over the world. There are few beaches in Nicot de los Vinos. Playa El Monis is a 130 meter black sand beach with strong waves, while Playa de San Marcos has fine black sand, good waves, and is safe for swimming and sunbathing. Another must see attraction is the lava tunnels of Cueva del Viento. With 17 kilometers length, Cueva del Viento is the largest volcanic cave in the world. Some of the cuisine in the town is found nowhere else in Tenerife, seemingly a result of it being a trading port for many years and hence having first access to foreign spices. You can try rabbit stew with canary and potatoes, accompanied by a glass of local red wine. The 11th area in the list of the best places to stay in Tenerife is Puerto de la Cruz. Puerto de la Cruz, along with Costa de Adeje and Playa de las Américas, is one of the best areas to stay in Tenerife without a car, because it is Tenerife's main holiday resort in the north of the island. There are bus connections with Santa Cruz, La Laguna and La Orotava. Located on the north of the island in the Orotava Valley, Puerto de la Cruz developed from being merely a fishing village into a major tourist resort the largest on the island for a time. In the summer, many from the Spanish mainland join British and German enjoying Puerto de la Cruz. One of its appeals is the old town, packed with narrow cobbled streets and traditional colonial style bars and cafes. You can find Calle Lomos and the Plaza del Charco is the meeting place of the old town, surrounded by restaurants and ice cream stalls. There is also the 17th century church of Nuestra Señora de la Peña de Francia on the Plaza de la Iglesia. To the northeast of Plaza del Charco, there is the Lago Martianes, with a set of swimming pools, floating islands, cascading waterfalls and beautiful gardens. This complex was created by Canary Island artist César Manrique. The amazing botanical gardens are located in the La Paz District, a 10 minute drive from Plaza del Charco. Other gardens are at Risco Bell Aquatic Garden and Sitio Liter Garden, home to the oldest dragon tree. Few steps away from Plaza del Charco lies Playa Jardín and the beaches. You can find water sports or surfing lessons on some of the best beaches Playa El Muelle, Playa El Castillo, and watch the sunset. Puerto de la Cruz has a wide range of accommodations, including numerous hotels and several residential complexes. Tourist amenities, such as shops, bars and restaurants. The 12th area in the list of the best places to stay in Tenerife is La Laguna. Located between the Anaga mountain range and the slopes of La Esperanza, and easy access to Teide National Park, San Cristóbal de la Laguna, also known as La Laguna, is an ideal place for nature lovers who like hiking and outdoor activities. The historic centre of La Laguna was added to the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1999. It was the ancient capital of the Canary Islands, and those wanting to experience the history and culture of Tenerife must visit La Laguna. The old town is packed with cobbled streets and elegant buildings from the 15th to 17th centuries. To explore the old town, start from the Conception Square, which is an important square surrounded by coffee shops, restaurants, bars and colourful buildings. This is the Church of Immaculate Conception, built in 1502, and has a beautiful bell tower that you climb and get charming views of the town. Another must-see landmark is the Cathedral of La Laguna. Built in the early 1900s, it has various architectural styles, including neoclassical, 
Neo-Gothic and Baroque. It is Santa Cruz's immediate neighbour, and effectively the two have become a single urban area with trams connecting all parts. The economy is dependent upon agriculture and industry, not tourism. However, the many historic landmarks attract significant visitors each year. As a north-facing city, it does receive more rainfall from Tenerife's prevailing winds than many other parts of the island. Now you have it. Where to stay in Tenerife and the 12 best areas to stay in Tenerife, Spain. Overall, Costa de Areje is the best area to stay in Tenerife for first-time tourists, where you can find the widest choices of accommodation and it's home to some of the best luxury five-star on the island. If you stay here, you will be located in the middle of everything, with an easy distance from South Tenerife Airport and the nightlife area of Playa Las Americas. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.